VAT stands for Value Added Tax, and it's a tax that you charge on your sales of goods or services in the UK. Now, if you're a business owner, you might be wondering if you need to register for VAT or not. So, in this video, I'm going to give you the lowdown and help you decide if it's something you may want to do. Let's get into it, shall we? Now in today's video, I'm going to talk about VAT registration and whether it's a good idea for your business. Now incidentally, there are two main scenarios when you have by law, in other words, you've got no choice to register for VAT. And that is when your total VAT taxable turnover for the last 12 months was over £85,000, that's the VAT threshold, and if you expect your turnover to go over £85,000. Now, it should be noted that £85,000, although we seem to be talking of that number a lot, it is at the time of recording this video. So uh, please make sure to check out with the latest threshold figure directly with HMRC in case this has changed. Now, if either of these applies to you, you must register for VAT within 30 days of the end of the month when you went over the threshold or the day you realized. Now, if you don't, you could face a penalty from HMRC. But if your turnover is below the threshold, can you still register for VAT voluntarily? And why exactly would you want to? Well, there are some advantages and disadvantages of registering for VAT, and I'm going to explain them in this video. In fact, let's start with the bad news first or the disadvantages. Firstly, you have to charge VAT on your sales and pay it to HMRC. Now, of course, this doesn't seem too bad, but this can make your products or services more expensive and therefore less competitive, especially if your customers are not VAT registered themselves and cannot reclaim the VAT. Also, it could mean you have to do some strange arithmetic. If your customer asks you to give you a price including VAT versus excluding, and so, for instance, maybe you perform a service like landscaping or close-up magician, for instance, and it's easier for your clients to be told one final price because, well, they're not used to dealing with that registered businesses and they are the general public after all. In this example, you would charge £500 including VAT. And let's say the VAT rate is 20% to make it easy. Now, most people would expect to just remove 20% from the 500 so therefore, you create some kind of invoice of £400 for the service, with the VAT being £100, and therefore you'd pay HMRC £100. What you actually need to do, however, is have 20% of the net price added on. So the formula becomes a little bit more complicated. So in this case, the service you offer would be worth £416.67, with 20%, which is 83 33 added to make it a total of 500. Whew. Now that all seems a lot more complicated, but don't worry because if you are like me and you lack the math skills, there are many free apps and websites where you simply add your final amount and the VAT percentage into the site and it calculates all that information for you. You can check the description of this video for some of them or you can do a quick Google search and I'm sure you can find some yourself. Another disadvantage is that you have to file regular VAT returns and keep accurate records of your sales and purchases. This can, of course, increase your administrative burden and require more time and resources. Although there are schemes incidentally that you can join, such as the flat rate VAT or the annual accounting scheme if you reach the required threshold. And this can ease with the burden somewhat. But it's best to chat to one of our team to see if this would be right for your company. You can find our details in the description below. Another disadvantage is that you have to comply with the VAT rules and regulations. Now, this can be complex and confusing, especially if you deal with different types of goods or services, or trade with other countries. So that all sounds like doom and gloom, but don't worry because there's some great advantages as well. Now, these include that you can reclaim the VAT that you've paid on your business purchases and expenses. This can reduce your costs and increase your cash flow. In fact, if you've been in business for a number of years and then you register for VAT, you can actually claim back the input VAT you've paid over the previous four years for goods which your business still uses. 
and for the previous six months for any services. Now, if your business supplies zero rated goods and services, meaning that you don't have to add VAT to your invoices, you can claim back the input VAT you pay each quarter. You can appear more professional and credible to your customers and suppliers. In fact, some businesses only deal with VAT registered companies. So registering for VAT can actually open up more opportunities for you and your business. You can avoid the hassle of monitoring your turnover and worrying about crossing over that threshold. Once you've registered, you don't have to worry anymore about registering again, uh, unless of course you want to cancel your registration. So as you can see, there are pros and cons of registering for VAT, and it really all depends on your individual situation and preferences. Now, registering for VAT can be taxing. <laughs> Do you see what I did there? Due to the fact that the forms you have to fill in and make sure you get them to the correct departments. But of course, we have a service to help you out and take that burden away by simply visiting our additional services page to add VAT registration or purchasing one of our packages that includes VAT registration, we do all the heavy lifting. In fact, one of our experts will be in consultation with you to complete the VAT-01 form. Submit the form to the relevant VAT registration office, as there's two. This sometimes means that people delay their process by submitting to the wrong one, and of course, we don't want that to happen to you. Also, if after the consultation with our team or with your accountant, you decide that your business would benefit from joining either the flat rate VAT scheme or the annual accounting scheme, or maybe both, we'll make sure the necessary applications are ready on your behalf. And of course, we'll be there every step of the way to make sure the process is as painless and easy as possible. I hope that gives you some kind of an idea of whether or not VAT registration is right for your business. If you have any questions at all, you can drop them in the comments box below or contact one of our friendly team at yourcompanyformations.co.uk or visit our social channels, which you'll find linked in the description of this video. My name's Ian from Your Company Formations. Thanks for watching.